Yo, what's poppin', y'all? It's your boy Stax, and I'm back at you with another episode of Go Up Inside. Um, as always, first and foremost, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to everyone that has been viewing my videos, everyone that have been leaving comments, um, liking my content. I appreciate that shit 1,000. Um, to all my new subscribers, I hope you guys enjoy the content. You know what I'm saying? And uh, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I usually always leave my link to the, my page in my description in, of the videos and shit. But anyway, my name on Instagram is I rap, I tap. You know what I'm saying? So all you guys that are new and shit and haven't been following me, following me, you know what I'm saying? That's the reason why you see the break in some of the talk shows because not only do I have this talk show, but I also make music. You know what I'm saying? And my wife actually makes music as well. She sings. She's in a band and shit. So that's why you see tracks with uh, him and her. You know what I'm saying? That's the name of our group. Uh, we have a Facebook page, Him and Her Music. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave a link for it in my description. And y'all go over there and follow it. And if you really want to, um, you know, follow us on a daily, you know, see what we're doing from day to day. Uh, you know, like uh, follow me on the Instagram. And like I said, uh, join our group on Facebook. I'll leave a link for both. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, if you guys haven't done it yet, man, before we go any further... Hit that subscribe button, click the little notification bell, so that way every time I drop a new video, you guys can be notified first. And uh, today's video, man, is going to be called uh, Punched On Over Monopoly. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do, man, is I'm going to tell you guys a story today about how one night when we were out at rec, dude was running his mouth, or we were all playing Monopoly, and you know he ended up getting fucking punched out over it, face split and everything. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but before I uh, tell you guys about that, let me give you a little background on the dude. You know what I'm saying? And 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 basically the reason, you know, but put the icing on the cake on why he got fucking his face punched in. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right. First, he was a white dude. You know what I'm saying? I'll just start by that. And uh, I forget where. Oh no, I think he was from Philly. You know what I'm saying? He was from like Northeast Philly or something like that. And uh, you know. He was really cocky. He was older than the rest of us. You know what I'm saying? So that automatically made him feel like, you know, he was bigger and badder than the rest of us. But he was only older than us. He wasn't bigger than a lot of us. You know, he was a smaller guy. But I want to say he was like 20, almost 21. You know what I'm saying? And as I mentioned in my previous videos, you can be in the juvenile system in Pennsylvania until you're the age of 21. And then usually if you're still doing time, though, if, though, if you're not getting released... You know, they'll send you up to, uh, you know, the grown-up shit. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, the dude was older than the rest of us, so he was always really cocky. You know what I mean? Me and him ha have even gotten into it with exchange of words a few times. You know, uh, There wasn't a lot of white dudes in there, you know, so the ones that were in there and were rocking out, we, we used to f all fuck with each other. You know, we had a, you know, a little mutual respect for everyone because, you know, it's fucking a fact that, you know... White dudes usually are the preyed upon more than any other race, you know, in lockup. You know, it's just the way it is. And, you know, a lot of them don't fight back and put their necks on the line for themselves. So it gives the rest of us a bad name. And it makes the ones that do stick up for ourselves, do right, have to go that little extra mile because they think that all white dudes are pussy off the bat because of the, major because of the majority is, you know. We're, and, and we're the minority usually in most spots. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man, he was a white dude and he, he was cool. You know what I mean? Uh, I believe he fought a few times, you know. Um, I don't think he really won when he fought because, like I said, he wasn't the biggest guy. But, but you know, he, he he fought, you know. At the end of the day, he fought. And everyone will give you respect more for fighting rather than being a punk, you know. So, uh, but the thing of it is... No one really liked the fact that he was always being cocky. You know what I mean? He Background of him. When he was in food prep with me and what food prep was, it's, um, a, I'm sorry, excuse me. Food prep is a program where instead of going to school all day, um, what you do is you, uh, get shackled up and then they take you on a little van to one of the other buildings and you, uh, go to a, a class that is a, is a lady and she teaches you how to cook, you know what I'm saying? Different, all types of different shit. And then what you do is you you cook your dish and then you get to eat it. 
You know, it's like a perk for getting your GED and shit like that. Only a select few people get to do it, you know. But me and him and one other dude at the time were in it, you know. And uh, so we're all over there and shit. And um, we were making uh, like blue cheese stuffed uh, burgers, you know what I mean? So we were doing burgers with blue cheese, but we were making the blue cheese be stuffed inside of them. You know, long story short... The lady had like a little hot plate, long flat grill thing right there. And uh, he was, uh, you know, cooking. He was the one frying up the burgers. So uh, she, the teacher had asked him to do something and he ended up walking away from it. You know what I mean? And when he walked away from it, uh, the th- one of the burgers started to smoke. So I went over and started tending to it. And as I did, he's like, oh, oh, oh wait, no, man, no, man. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You know, and just always had something smart to say to everyone. You know, and uh, I'm not the only person that, you know, he did it with. When that happened, you know, me and him kind of got into it. I really don't know what we said to one another. I was just like, damn, bro, I was trying to help you. You know what I mean? That's it. You don't have to be a dick about it and be like, no, 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 get out the way. I got it. I got it. You know what I mean? And he he ended up apologizing or whatever. I forget exactly what was said, like I said, you know, but he was cocky. You know what I mean? Long story short, point blank period. He He always had something smart to say. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, not a lot of people like that shit, especially dudes that were like, you know, fresh in the program, didn't really know him like that yet, you know, and he he was the type of guy that, you know, he would just get smart with anyone. All right. There was a time when uh, we had gotten in like fucking 15 new cats at one time. You know what I mean? And uh, so there was a lot of new faces in the fucking uh, dorm, you know? And uh, I said in one of my uh, previous videos, I made a a video about the level system. Um, What the level system is, it's bronze, silver, gold, and I think platinum or diamond. And, you know, different levels give you different perks and different privileges and shit like that. All right. So long story short, we were all on a level that gets to stay out a little bit later, you know, but there's some guys in there. They're probably only about a month maybe a month and a half into the program, if I'm being generous. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we're all in the rec room 15 minutes before we got to go in or 30 minutes before we got to go in. I think we all had to go in at 10 at that time, you know? And uh, we're all playing Monopoly. You know, there's like five of us in the back, you know? And (laughs) at this time, we know we got to go in soon. You know what I mean? So we've been playing already probably for about an hour. And, uh, like, in there, motherfuckers always, like, add rules, and there's extra shit you can do, so everyone had, like, hotels and houses on their shit, so every time someone landed, like, motherfuckers were paying out money, you know? And, uh, it got down to the wire where it was the cocky guy, and then this new cat. All the, uh, higher levels go into the same rec room, and then we get to play the PS2, play Monopoly, cards, whatever, you know? So, um... We're all in there, and uh, I didn't really get to talk to dude at all because he was on a different dorm than me, you know? But I was, we was busting it up that night, and he seemed like a cool, pretty cool cat, you know what I mean? But uh, my homie, the guy that I was kind of cool with, is sitting there running his mouth to him, you know what I mean? Like, uh, both of them own, like, half the fucking board, you know? It's only them two. Everyone else is out, and every time one of them land on one of each other's property, everyone that's around, there's, like, everyone that's around the table is like, oh! and uh dude's talking shit to him you know the white kid and uh dude ends up getting tired of it you know long story short and um he's telling him like you know next time you land on this you better pay me all my money because what happened was every time he landed on me he kept shorting him like oh come on you know oh come on so he's telling him like you know next time you land on something that's gonna break you you gotta pay me all, all everything and that's it i'm winning you know so it gets down to like fucking like three minutes until we have to lock in, you know what I'm saying, and uh, dude uh, ends up landing on one of his things at a bunch of hotels, and everyone's like, oh, and it sounded like a fucking rock, like a huge ass crowd, because it was only them two playing, but there was probably like fucking 10, 11 people huddled around the table, and, and dude's, dude, he's like, man, fuck that, man, I'm not paying. I'm not paying, man. You know what I mean? And everyone was like looking at him like, oh shit. And dude's like, yo, seriously, I know this shit is fake. In other words, he basically told him like, you're either going to give me the fucking money, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm going to fuck you up, you know? And dude was on some shit like, yo, I'm not giving you shit. You know what I mean? You're not going to do nothing. You know, and as soon as he started started saying like he's not going to do nothing, dude just stood up. Boom, boom, boom. 
boop, boop. Hit him with like four straight rights right in his fucking face. His shit was like, Psh, and he just went, boop. He drops him straight out of his chair, right? And uh, dude's laying on the floor like, oh, man, you split my face open, man. What you do that for, man? Why you hit me, man? Come on, man. Why you hit me, man? <laughs> so he laying there telling him, why you hit me? Why you hit me? Blood running down his face and shit. And then his shit started swelling up. He was a light-skinned white dude. So instantly, bang, started black and bluing. You know what I mean? <laughs> shit was just funny as hell because, like, you know, finally everyone seen him finally get fucking, you know, knocked out. You know, and all that shit he'd been talking for the past few months that he'd been there and just, you know, getting getting cocky with everyone, getting smart with everyone. Even the staff members was, like, laughing when it happened, dude, because he was like, man, I ain't paying you shit. You know what I mean? And if you do, and if you got a problem with it, you need boop, 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 <laughs> fucking blasted him. He was just like... Shoom! He got stiff as a board, like knocked out and just like, you know, straight over real fast. It looked like a fucking cartoon, man. Shit was hilarious, you know what I'm saying? And then what's crazy is, you know, uh, usually when there's someone like that, you know, with big mouth and, you know, someone fucking blasts them and shuts them up, uh, usually you don't really hear much out of them, you know, after that. But not this dude, man. I think he was fucking slow. Or something, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, he fucking, he was just still, man. Even after getting knocked out. He was walking around with stitches, you know, in his face. And his shit was kind of swollen close. Getting smart with people in school. You know what I mean? Because uh, after he got in that fight, him and dude both fucking got in trouble for it. Even though he got, he's the one that got knocked out. They both got in trouble for it. You know what I mean? And then he got, the dude got kicked out of the food prep program. You know what I mean? And uh, someone else took his spot. You know, but everyone was laughing at him, man, because for months, dude, he was just getting smart with people. Um, he got in a fight with this kid, you know what I mean? And he got a fight with another kid after that. So he got like two or three fights, you know, and uh, like every time that he had gotten to his other fight. Sorry, excuse me. Something in my tooth. Every time he got into uh, his other fights, the staff were always right there. Like always for some reason, it seemed to happen as soon as staff were right there. Then he wanted to swing. You know, so it was good to see someone like that, you know, just get knocked out. You know what I mean? Even though, you know, it's not funny laughing at someone's pain and shit. But, you know, if you're human, if you're fucking human, dude, and, and you know, you, you've been around assholes and shit like that, you know, sometimes people deserve to get their fucking face punched. You know, just because they're always like, just, you know, acting, you know, just always acting and just, you know, just being someone or not. You know what I mean? And sometimes people deserve it. You know, and that was where it, that was a case where instant justice, you know, instant karma, whatever you want to call it, happened, and you know, dude didn't even get a chance to get smart with this guy, you know, and and what it was is the dude was fresh in there, they didn't know one another, you know, and he thought just because they were on level, he dude wasn't want to gonna dude wasn't gonna want to lose his level, you know, because he just got there and I thought he was gonna be able to talk shit to him like he has been doing everyone and. Blasting him three times. It was funny because he didn't even hit him with the two pieces. He just, wow, 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 and fucking, poof, two fell straight over, yo. It was one of the funniest knockouts I ever seen. Everyone was clowning on him after that for weeks, you know. And people were clowning on him. He's still getting smart, but at this time, no one even fucking took him serious. You know what I mean? After getting knocked out like that, no one took him serious, and you know, I don't think he really had too many issues after that, you know. <laughs> Just because people were just getting tired of it, you know, because it's obvious he's not going to stop running his fucking mouth no matter how bad he gets his ass whooped. You know what I mean? So, uh, and I hope y'all like the content, like the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You know what I'm saying? This is the road to 1K. We're trying to get the 1,000, man. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Leave comments, likes, and, uh, you know, if you guys want to want me to speak on any type of certain topics and shit, you know, hit me in the comments. Let me know. Uh, follow the Instagram. I rap, I tat. That's my day-to-day -day activities on there. You know, I'll leave a link for it, and uh, my wife as well, her day-to-day -day activities and, you know, uh, songs and shit. Usually we go live and play unreleased songs and stuff, so, you know, we got a lot of good things coming for y'all, man, so make sure y'all stay tuned, and uh, I appreciate all my day ones and all my newbies, so till next time, yo. Yeah.